Hi there, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about Apache uh, Superset, uh, which is uh, an open source project uh, for data visualization, which is um, kind of very powerful. In my case, I was uh, mostly looking just for a data visualization software in order to import a CSV dataset and to be able afterwards to uh, play with, uh, with the data, which is exactly what Superset is doing. Though so, uh, you need to understand a couple of things first in order to be able to see uh, your data. In this video, I'm just going to show how to import a CSV file and how to play with it. I'm going to uh, import a data set coming from uh, Matomo and uh, just to let you know that uh, the Apache superset in my case is installed thanks to Docker and is installed locally. So uh, the first thing that I did is I looked uh, through uh, Matomo. So I'm going to go through Matomo. I'm just going to download um, a data set, which is, uh, let, let's say, a year of data. Okay, so I'm taking out uh, a year of data, um, mostly on a, on a daily basis. Oops, I'm going to change that out and I'm do it by day. Okay, so this is my uh, my set of data for a full year. I want a full year of data and uh, do, do, do. So just the time to process that. So here is what it looks like and would like to get the same thing within uh, Apache Superset. So I'm downloading the CSV file. The first thing that you need to know is that unfortunately, when it's exporting the data file from Matomo, it seems that it's not encoding the way that uh, Superset would like it to be, uh, which requires you afterward uh, to modify it uh, a little bit. So that's uh, that's what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna click on file. I'm gonna click on uh, open, and I'm gonna open a recent file, which is the following one. I'm just gonna open it up. Okay. So those are all um, all the data. I'm just gonna keep. Uh, I'm just gonna keep those, and for the rest, I'm gonna delete them in order to not get uh, too big. A too big data set. Okay, then uh, you just um, delete all of those and then you just save it as a CSV file. So here, uh, so far you don't have any issue. I'm just going to call it tutorial.csv. I'm going to keep it as a CSV file. Uh, next thing that I strongly recommend you to do is this that. Um, you open up the file that you just uh, open, that you just created. So this one, okay, and uh, you just save it again. And what you need to pay attention is this part because it's copying it Unicode UTF-16, right? It should be in UTF-8. Once you have it within UTF-8, that's better. Okay, so then you go within Apache Superset, so you need to import a CSV, so you go within sources, and then you look for it, you name it as you want, so in my case I'm going to call it Matomo V2, then you pick up the CSV that uh, that you want. Uh, then you import it within uh, a database. So by default, they have one database and uh, you don't want actually to open data to the existing database and you want to replace the existing data. So that's what I'm doing over here. Uh, then I found that it was better when I removed these parts out for the date format and here that I said that my column holding the the time is named date, and then I can click on save. Then if I'm lucky enough, so luckily this is what's happening, my data set have been imported, so you can find it over here and you can double check the data. And here you see that the date is supported properly, which I think is a big stuff, because uh, if the date are not properly, you start to get crazy because uh, the superset will not act the way uh, you would like it to be. Then you go for chart, then you click here and you create a new chart. Then you get, in fact, uh, the different data visualization that you can choose. So in my case, it's Matomo V2. So Matomo V2, where is it? It's over here, so Matomo V2. Uh, then you choose the type of visualization that you want. Table won't provide us any much value compared to what we already have. Uh, so I can go for uh, for this one. Uh, so I can click on create a new chart, and then it's going to ask you to uh, what is the combination of data that you would like to set. Here is one point which makes me crazy: is that don't set the 
time range uh, tweaks it's just no filter uh, because like this it will not uh, take out the last week if it doesn't exist uh, then at this point i guess you can run the query okay so you don't have much because so far the count is just uh, made on nothing and here you can decide uh, what you would like to do the count for so uh, if we just keep it for the session and that we pick up this one uh, one can run the query against it and then we get back in fact the curve uh, that uh, we used to have so then from here uh, you can just say okay um, let's say um, evolution of my visits i could have taken something else of course uh, then you can save it then you just mention uh, the dashboard to which you would like uh, to put it on so in my case i'm gonna save it i'm gonna go to dashboard and now i get my uh, my dashboard which is over here with uh, the one that i want so here afterward you can in fact uh, decide to, to move this one up if uh, if you want i'm gonna move it up oops sorry for that Oops, okay, seems it's not working the way I want it, but I'm, well, I'm gonna get it fine at the end of the day, right, just by moving uh, the, the graph where I want, but as you can see, you can, can really do a lot of, a lot of stuff, uh, you can, you can add a lot of things and make the dashboard your, your own but that that's the thing i definitely succeed to reproduce uh, the following one uh, not that it seems it's of course uh, far harder to link uh, the database or creating a connector and that kind of thing i have not been through yet uh, because that was not my purpose. My purpose was just to import uh, different CSV coming from different databases in order to have a dashboard at the end of the day that I can share with uh, someone and that of course I guess I can add some uh, some comments uh, here and there probably in order to uh, just add uh, add some comments oops okay and then I can uh, edit the stuff and say hey I want to stand the page and I say hey clear to edit and say hey hey data are here okay and that's it. Hey, data are here. So that's what I wanted to show you how you can easily create a, a dashboard a chart within a superset.